Hey, good afternoon. This is David with Miller's RV in Baton Rouge. Right now, I'm standing in front of a new piece of inventory. This is a 2021 Dynamax Asada. All right, before we start and get inside, do me a favor, hit that notification bell. Let us know if you want to see some more videos. If you've got some stuff in particular that you would like to see, let us know so we can put those out for you. We really enjoy making videos for all of y'all to look at. Let's go inside and take a look at this nice coach. All right, welcome inside our 2021 Asada. Look, before we start talking about all of this stuff inside this coach, I do want to talk a little bit about what's on the outside of this coach and what may be under the hood. This is a five series on a 5500 Dodge chassis with a Cummins engine. This is a tough boy. It's a really nice coach. A lot of stuff on the outside to talk about. You got a nice power step getting in and out, make that a whole lot easier. You got an outdoor TV on the outside so you can watch TV underneath the awning. Uh, this this uh, coach is gonna give you, I wanna say yes, this is gonna give you 800 foot-pounds of torque and 360 horsepower out of this five series uh, Dodge chassis. So it's a beast of a coach. Let's get started to take a look at the kitchen. All right, let's look take a look at this kitchen. Look, I really love the floor plan in this Isada. First thing that stands out to me in the kitchen is your counter space. You get a good amount of counter space in here, whether you wanna put coffee pots up here, blender to make your mixed drinks, whatever you wanna do, you got the room for it up here. If you have your coffee pot up here or your blender, they give you this little access panel that you can pull up out of the counter where you've got one, two, three, 110 plugs on it and a couple of USBs if you need to charge your phone. Next to that, you got a little access panel here where you've got a garbage can dump where you can access it from the cabinet right here by the front door. Really neat setup inside this kitchen. Over here, you've got your three burner gas stove. Now you don't have an oven underneath here. They give you a little bit more storage to take advantage of instead of putting your oven underneath. You got three of these drawers down here. One of which is the big drawer at the bottom that you can put all your pots and pans in and fit that big stuff in that everybody complains there's no room for. So as far as ovens go, up top, you got your convection microwave. You can cook everything in these convection microwave ovens as you can in a regular oven. I don't care if it's biscuits in the morning, or pizza, whatever you wanna do. This will cook and do just as good a job as an old school oven. Another thing that stands out in this kitchen is this cool accent lighting that goes all the way around your counter space. It goes all the way around in the back too. We'll get back there and show you that cool stuff in the back. Your sink space on here, you got these sink covers and underneath there you got a good solid stainless steel sink that's not gonna stain or dent. You got your pull down nozzle for the sink. Another cool thing I like about this floor plan is all the accent lighting you got inside this kitchen. This actually goes throughout the whole coach and they put it along the underneath your cabinet work as well, which makes it easy to see at night if you're walking around. But look, this thing has all kind of cool features. Counter space, as I talked about earlier, is at a premium in these. You also get a flip up counter space here, which is gonna give you a little bit more work, a little more prep space for when you're cooking those meals. It makes it real convenient for, for making, for just give you a little bit more room when you're prepping. So I love this residential refrigerator. Having a residential size refrigerator inside your coach really comes in handy, especially if you've got more than just two, three, or four people. This is gonna give you the room to put all the food you're gonna need to take care of them for a period of time. You got a full size refrigerator on the bottom. You got a full freezer up top. You got an ice maker up top. So you got everything you need creature comforts to home as far as the refrigerator goes. This is awesome. All right, so now over here in the living area, you've got your theater style seating that are reclining seats. They've got the Laguna style uh, TV trays that are very maneuverable, so you can use these, one for each side for eating. You've got your cup holders inside of these, all lit up. These seats actually are heated, so you can actually heat these seats up with the push of a button. Very cool, very comfortable seats in here. All right, so here we are at the dinette area in the Asada. This is a pretty cool setup. You've got your little bench dinette. This will easily drop down into a bed with a little flip of a switch here. Just push the tabletop down, puzzle piece your other cushions in, and you got a bed for the kiddos to sit in. Very simple and easy to operate. You've also got good storage. Can't have enough storage inside of these, we all know that. They give you some more storage underneath each of these seats. By the way, these seats do have seat belts as well, so you can, you know, safely tuck away the kiddos and the seat belts while driving. Up on top of the dinette set here is gonna be your master control panel. From here, you can control everything. You can control your lighting, you can control your air conditioning, your heat. Uh, you can heat the bays up underneath this coach. Everything is controlled from this panel right here. Touch screen. All right, let's check out the bedroom and move over this way. All right, here we are in the bedroom area. Look, they do give you another control panel back here in the bedroom. Uh, whether it's lighting you wanna control, 
turning off and on your generator or whatever it might want to be, you can control that from your bedroom as well without having to go all the way into the living area. Look, the bed on this thing, I can't say enough about. This is not your typical RV bed. I don't know who makes this bed, but it is very comfortable. Inside your bedroom area, you've got plenty of storage. Here at the wardrobe, this opens up and lights up already. You got plenty of closet space in here for wardrobe area. They give you some more drawers here at the bottom for storage. Nice LCD flat screen TV right across from the bed for viewing. So it makes it nice and easy to see the television from the bed. You don't have to turn your head left or right to see the TV. And they do give you blackout screens, not only in the bedroom, but you got blackout screens all throughout this coach to black this sucker out if that's what you need to do during the daytime. Easy to do, just drop them all down. Let's go take a look at the bathroom on this coach. Okay, here we are obviously in the bathroom. I know it may look like we're a little far apart, but that's because of the size of this bathroom. I'm standing in the shower right now, and this thing is huge. You've got all the elbow room you need inside this shower. Great big shower, removable nozzle, makes things easy inside of here. You've got a real ceramic toilet bowl. Your vanity is right over here. You've got a couple of USB ports inside this bathroom. They even give you some space, some space inside your medicine cabinet for your, whether it's makeup or medicines, whatever you need to put inside of your medicine cabinet. Everything you need in here, you got plenty of space. Let's go take a look at the rest of the coach. So this is your overhead bunk right over the cockpit. Plenty of room up here for a couple of kiddos if need be. Up here, you've got your control panel also for your automatic leveling system. You've got your solar panel controller. So I don't know if I mentioned or not, but this does have solar on the roof of this thing. So as long as it's out in the sun, it's always going to be trickle charging that battery, which is very important. We all know how bad it is to end up with a dead battery at the campground. No fun. So when well, the kiddos are up here sleeping, they got the television they can watch. It's got its own sound bar. You can actually move this TV, pull it out and move it to the side to make it for easier viewing from the rest of the coach, whether you want to see it from the dinette or from the uh, theater seating. However you want to do it, you can operate this TV and put it to where it's in an easy position to look at. So plenty of room up here for the kiddos to tuck themselves away and go to sleep at night. They've got a little privacy curtain if they need to pull it. You can pull a privacy curtain too to give, to give them a little bit of their own privacy. All right, let's take a look at the cockpit, the driving area on this beast, because it's nice. In this 2021 Dodge chassis, you've got all your hands-free controls on the steering wheel, whether it's cruise control or radio controls that you can control right there from the steering wheel. You've got your rear view camera, not only rear view camera, but you have two side view cameras. So as soon as you activate your left or right blinker, it's gonna turn on the side view camera so you get a full view down the side of your coach. Zero blind spots, very cool to have. Nice leather seating up front. And so obviously I'm sure you know, this rises up just to make it a little easier to get in and out of this cockpit area. By the way, this coach does have two air conditioners. There's another air conditioning unit right over this cockpit area to keep the kids or whoever happens to be up here cool. This is just overall a really cool coach. Has all the creature comforts you could want. Awesome coach to go camping in. Can't say enough about it. You need to come check it out. Thanks for viewing. Don't forget to click that notification bell. Let us know what kind of videos you wanna see. We enjoy doing it. Thanks again. My name is Dave. Come see us and remember, enjoy the journey. Hey, thanks for watching another video. If you would, please subscribe to the channel, click that notification bell, like and comment below if there's any questions. And hey, don't forget, watch one of these other videos here.